Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 Long War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken. We're playing Legendary Iron Man difficulty and this is month number 7. Still a long way to go but we are um, beating the aliens quite handily so far. It has been a very very successful month and we're just mass queuing missions. This one here should be a more difficult one. Uh, we have a smash and grab mission which per se is an easier mission but our squad is really a squaddy uh, squad. Specialist Gunner, Shinobi Assault Technician, and our Tertium Spark, uh, the yellow one, are trying to fight against 15 enemies at the uh, recent difficulty spike with specifically the increase in hit points will make it probably quite hard. I'm still trying to get one to two crates and maybe a couple of kills, and that's pretty much about it. Let's go. All right, and we land it. That's not too bad. We got a lot of vision blockade, uh, so we might as well sneak, uh, be able to sneak our way kind of around here. First things first, just some clean housekeeping place. Number one, make sure since we haven't infiltrated for a hundred percent, we are not in concealment. Might as well use that to our advantage to start with. an uh, evac right away. Number two, use our only soldier who is in concealment in order to get a bit closer. We're not in a hurry per se. I'll keep the team pretty tight together at the moment because we don't want to uh, really trigger something. As soon as we see something, uh, the whole mission is going to start and that's really not my intention. I want a potential early evac ready to take us out of here. And that's really the idea behind it. Like, not dealing, really not dealing with the, um, with the enemies a lot. Good. Let's see what we can do, shall we? So first things first, we're going to scout out what else is happening. High ground helps us to get a good overview. Nothing really happening here, so that means we can expedite our process in moving over here. Moving out. Already there. Although we don't have a timer, I also don't want to be caught in transition. Long range movement. Optimal case would be if we're reaching the crate and we still got like two-ish two turns before we need to evac. That's the first pack and see that's the difficulty spike right here. Oh my god, there's even a tower. The difficulty spike essentially ramps up the hit points so massively. What? Where, where, what? Where is that coming from? Okay, hold on. What kind of a shenanigan deal is this? Where is... So, this thing literally ported in the middle of us, to begin with, and then, afterwards... Proceeding to target. Oh my gosh. It just literally ported into us, and then afterwards started to... <laughs> to... Uh, to spot us out. I can promise you we could have never moved here if there would have been a drone right there. Ninety percent shot missed. Great. Can't hit these guys. Might as well continue. Okay, almost. Almost done with hitting it. I'm on it. 
Going over here into full cover. Moving up here, so if we were to do this, we would have a five tile sort of inaccuracy of volatility. Hmm. Hmm. It's almost six tiles. Ah, that's that's not worth it. I'm sorry. Moving over, let's mark the supply crate. We're picking up a steady signal from the transponder. Firebrand is I think it's a good to option to hunker down. That's essentially full cover. And Wasp here gets full cover as well. We're going to receive a couple of shots, but I am confident that that we should survive the round relatively unscathed. Let's see if we can explode the car. The answer is yes, and we can even remove cover, which is very, very good. Let's use the high ground in our uh, to our advantage. Very nice hit, fourteen. Very nice hit. My biggest concern is I don't want to trigger another pack. This is unfortunately only half cover. Seventy five per cent to kill it. That's affirmative. One up. Come on, kill the sick dude. Very nice. Yeah, it would be very easy to charge in and hack and slash. Gotta be careful though. Can't just do that. Also, we got a potential rocket here. Should be a bit, little bit mindful of that as well. Probably too afraid and too scared to actually run in. Let's instead try to stun this guy. He's still without cover, which is great. Damn, 
I don't know. Go for full cover over here. I know there's a turret here, I already saw that. So, hmm. Here's a decent position. Unfortunately, we couldn't get any closer. Now we gotta spread out a little bit. We could go and attack. Oh, we're hunkering down. You know what? Let's hunker down and make it more difficult for the drone to hit. I don't want the tower to be able to take shots. All we need to do is fight them off and essentially kill a couple of them and that's about it. We got our crate. We already got a few kills. Just with the amount of enemy hit points that we're seeing. Okay, we're still hunkered down. And it could have been worse in terms of using the rocket. You know, overall, that was not as bad as it could have been. Activate haywire. Let's take our 50-50 to take it over. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, so close. It would have been fantastic to take that one over. Didn't work. I do have an idea though. Yep, we know that there's a tower. No surprise here. Good. That'll take care of this pesky, pesky intruder there. Let's move up and get rid of the drone. Very nice. Okay, time to focus the trooper. Couple of nice shots. I like it. Moving into full cover and still being able to hit this guy. Unfortunately, the 80% shot missed. Can't, I, I can't charge in. That's not going to fly. No problem, boss. A lot of high level, high percentage shots, unfortunately, failed. Guy will regain consciousness and now will be in cover, which will make it even worse. Hostiles targeting my position. 
this issue. Taking hostile weapons fire. Oh shit. Our cover just disappeared. Okay, let's kill this guy. We haven't triggered another pack, which was good. Which means we can now start to deal with the tower. Shredding it first. Yep, that was good. Time for us to move up. What is it with the 80% shots in this particular mission that no one seems to be hitting them? There's only so much I can do. All right, a protocol. And a good old smoke grenade. That'll just make it more unlikely that we're being hit. Yeah, we're not going to recover many more crates. I'm taking fire. Now reloading. All right, let's kill the tower. Which conveniently enough did not die. Let's try that again. Perfect. Target down. Ammo out. Got it covered. Got it covered. Well, it done. it's been a good mission. It still shows that the enemies have ramped up so much that there is really not a lot I can do against it. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. I mean, we had a really overall solid engage on most of them. But still, if everyone has 20 hit points and a lot of defense, plus in some cases up to three or four armor, there's really not so much we can do, not with magnetic weapons. can kill a few, but 15 in that short amount of time, no. With more time, yes, probably, but not in such a short amount of time. So the game essentially forces you at this point to to bring coil weapons or more experienced soldiers. You simply can't let your inexperienced soldiers run around with laser or uh, magnetic weapons, at least not against 15 enemies, and expect that you will kill a lot. In I think we've killed like what, 6 or 7 overall, 15. Not too bad. I mean, almost half of them down. Let's go. 
taken moderate damage. Still successfully completed the mission. It's going to be 20 supplies. Unfortunately, not any loot items that we've gotten. But I think uh, we might get a promotion or two. But yeah, it shows you that uh, it, it only was six enemies, but they felt relatively hard. Like specifically the admins um, seem quite intense. Yeah, and look at that. This is a real reward of uh, the mission. We got a lot of promotions out of it. So our quote-unquote sniper, uh, Wasp, uh, has Shredder and Adaptive Aim, both of which worked super well. I absolutely love the Shredder. I think we're going to go and continue with holo targeting to make it even easier. The Bulwark is good, but like I said, this I wanted to see how a shoot-oriented or um, yeah, weapon-oriented mech is going to do. We got a new assault, and I think we're going to use our standard. We, we got a couple of experimental builds already out. She's, she can be simply a standard one. I mean, yeah, I guess it goes without saying we want the rocket to be more accurate. The one was really, really bad. As for our Shinobi, Combative is probably the way to go. I like Blade Master, so yeah, let's go for it. Smoker for only 10, an extra inventory slot with a smoke grenade. Hell yeah, we're going to, uh, to take that. Good ability, I like it. And here we do have with Overdrive someone who is like fully... Um, fully specced into healing. If we would have had Savior, that would have healed uh, significantly more hit points. And I think by now, having 8 or even 12 hit points per heal is the way to go. So we're taking that. Yeah, we'll prob we will probably need to wait until Lightning Reflexes and Combat Fitness. Those are not really good for him. <laughs> yeah, and our loot was okay, moderate, I would say. But at least everyone got out and got some experience. So, like I said, that's the more important piece. I'm almost considering whether we want to modify the rookie squad here a bit more. Commander Certainly could send the mech with them. But as it stands, we have people still waiting for an assignment. We can have them working on construction, excavation, or staffing a facility. Yeah, we got almost the entire team ready. Still there will be probably another mission that's popping up, so might as well keep the rookie team. I don't care. It's going to be a fun mission to play rookies only. Setting course for the Australian sector. Nice, look at that, we got another spark. So looking at all of our options, I appreciate the Shredder rounds, they are not bad. I appreciate the Talon rounds for higher crit damage. Not bad either. Might as well go for another Spark since we expand our roster quite a bit so that would be spark number five and we're okay on all of the relevant materials so we'll get right away, why not 
Let's just double check our spark real quick, the one that we recently got. All right, here we go. Quartzium, our new spark, the blue one. Um, I don't yet know what exactly we're going to do with it, but it's going to be fun. The spark, by the way, was one of the few um, troops in the last battle that was really decent, which tells you a lot about its starting power. Kind of if a starting spark still does well, whilst like rookie soldiers do not, then you can see how they how they scale. They have a higher starting point, but probably a lower ceiling. By the way, defense matrix, super good. Yeah, I'm not even sweating the upgrade. And we're permanently stationing someone in there. There is no reason not to do that. In case we're ever going to be uh, attacked, this year will, will be fundamentally important for us. So... I don't mind that at all. It's a good investment. Done. Could go with a workshop and even create more um, engineers, but at the same time we're currently getting more engineers, so I'm not 100% sure if I would buy into the necessity of a workshop. One more day until we can invade the Warlock. Commander, the aliens continue to make progress on the Avatar project. Look at that. We'll Alright, we, we'll we gotta launch that mission and that's going to be our next test. But, in the meantime, we got ourselves another free slot. And I want to train another rookie, so what we're going to do is we're recruiting these guys here. Derek looks like someone who we might want to recruit. Derek has 50, <laughs> 58 aim. Oh shit, Derek, why did you do that to me? Why? Well... He still can be a support, I guess, a specialist. Wanted to get another one anyways. Derek, my man, 58 aim. Well, that was not good. There you go, specialist. All right, and this brings us to the end of today's um, episode. Quick run. Uh, next mission we're going to look into a bit more of a turbulent one because we're trying to prevent a data leak uh, which is great so that's going to be just awesome plus a hidden event no it's not the data leak oh that, this is the hidden event counter but still that's important but we got really good soldiers um, on this mission so we should be fine Looking forward for it. Thank you so much for watching. As always, hit the like button and leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, we will continue this great series. Thank you so much for your attention and see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.